guys, I'm doing it again, blocking you out. Hi. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back, to, welcome back channel. to my channel. The lighting is a little bit mood lighting this morning because we're up and at it so early guys. No, it Eight. is quarter to nine. <laughs> okay, it's not that early, but it's quarter it's to nine. Fair. This is early like compared to pre-baby, like we'd be getting up at this yes, time. Now true. we're like dressed, ready, we're in the car, we are Gosh, on the we way. we to live the high life, didn't we? I know. <laughs> We're on the way to go shopping in town at half eight. Um, it's a great day, quarter to nine. You are right, it's quarter to nine now. We left at half eight. This is taking a while. There's, a lot, there's traffic already. Is this Christmas traffic? Or is this just normal? Of, this is normal. Yeah. James was adamant not, obviously, to have yeah. the Christmas rush, the Christmas shopping rush. Every time we've come like past town lately, it's been so hectic and so busy. Yes. Yeah, we live close-ish, and so a lot of our routes kind of go through town to then mm. leave town on the other side, because you can't go around. And um, yeah, the queues for the car parks have been absolutely crazy. Crazy! Don't so, get involved in that this morning. So no. Early year start. <laughs> Practical James is on it with his early start. Well, shops don't open until half nine, ten. So I'm hoping that no one's going to be coming in before the shops Why are we open. going? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, go so in, we're going we're for breakfast. Have a coffee and a Course. bacon bath. You've already told me the plan, yes. Boo. Well, actually, the main shop we want to go to does open at nine. What shop's that? To get your. your... Oh, yeah. Sorry, I've just completely forgotten the whole plan, Boo. We're not really but, going Christmas shopping. No, we're not. all of our Christmas stuff. No, we actually have. Uh, we've been really organised this year. Yeah, so the main reason, which I completely forgot, because um, I'm so excited, the reason, reason that we're coming in is to get my rings resized. I really miss wearing my uh, wedding and engagement rings and ever since pregnancy. I mean, I don't feel like my hands got bigger, but like it is a thing, obviously, they <laughs> swell. Boom, jumbo hands. My hands have always, like, my, it's my knuckles, really, that stop my rings. Like, my ring actually fits down there. It's just my knuckles stopping it. Um, and I think basically what... Hello! Yeah. She started today. So usually she does her da-da-da-da. But you may notice today she's moved on a bit to na-na-na-na. So we are still not... The developments of this baby, guys. She's not, she's not doing the ma-ma-ma-ma, though, is she? She never will. She's just, like, skipping it, and she'll just go to, like, every word other than mama. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm getting my rings resized, basically. La, la, la. Yeah, she'll be, like, singing and still not doing ma-ma-ma. <laughs> can you do ma-ma-ma-ma-ma? Ma-ma-ma-ma. I can see you smiling there. Are you going to do it? Ma-ma-ma-ma-ma. Ma-ma-ma-ma-ma. <laughs> No, 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 We just arrived. I can confirm. It's absolutely dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have you got one of the last parking spaces? I don't know what you're on about. I can literally see no other parking spaces. Guys, there's literally no one here. This is great. I think we came a little bit too prepared today. Well, not really. Like, our shop opens in 10 minutes. We better get, get there. There, there, there could be a queue. There. Exactly. There could be a queue. Exactly. Hello. Hello my Her face friend. when she sees us just cracks me up. We've heard that she's done a poo explosion though, so we're uh, a bit scared to see what's yeah. been done. Yeah. yeah. yeah you have. We just did a quick nappy change Woo. in the front of the car. I've used this opportunity to change her from <clears> her lemon outfit into festive. Festive it's Christmas time yeah. in the city! It's Christmas! <laughs> we got some fairy lights on, I'm a happy one. Look at that, looking festive, even though they're not open. So we're popping into Cafe Nero, which is always lovely and festive as well, with nice. their wreaths. A nice coffee and a bacon sarnie. Oh, lovely start to the day. Callis, come on now, it's Christmas time, and you're potentially drinking the most boring I drink. I've gone boring. I don't know what happened to me. I had one too many pumpkin spiced gingerbread over Halloween, straight yeah. into then Christmas. Oh yeah, gingerbread I kept having over Christmas. Have you had a festive drink? Just Americanos. No, fest that's what gingerbread is. Festive, isn't it? Oh yeah, Not of Halloween. course. I was thinking that was Halloween-y. I know Sorry, you my bad. Um, and then I got Probably festive down. Yeah. So I've just gone for Americano That's fair enough. So no Christmassy cinnamony or yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> so we're on our way to get the rings resized. I think it's one of those I'm gonna have to send it off, aren't I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd show you for anyone who hadn't seen them before. I feel like James picked the best engagement ring. How cute is that? It's so cute and classy, and honestly guys, I actually had no say in it. Did I? Oh, no. <laughs> you did a good job. It was all me. It was. Yeah. So impressed. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this again. I, can't wait to see I you. Li 
Yeah. yeah. I wore it literally for the day you gave it to me, back in whenever that was, years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Um, I didn't take it off for one single day until the day I had to take it off in my pregnancy. And you were gutted, weren't you? I was absolutely gutted, but it had to be done. It was going to explode. <laughs> yeah. Do you think your weight is like plateaued now? Yeah, like I said, I don't think it was oh, my oh. weight. I yeah. think what happened was my knuckle, uh, my finger, when I originally put it on when you proposed to me, yeah. I was obviously a couple of sizes smaller. Then, it, as I like gained weight, it like indented in my finger. Right. So, it was fine and probably would have been fine, leaving a nice dent. But then when I took it off, obviously yeah. my dent, like memory foam, over right. the months, yeah. it came back up. And now there's no dent there, so it just doesn't fit. So, so my fingers are the same size, it just hasn't got the dent. Yes. As same size as when I took it off, not same size as when I originally put it on, which would have been like many years ago. When was that? 2018. 2018. Yeah. So not that many years ago, but oh, wow, that's really not that long ago. I feel three like and a half years. Yeah, married two and a half years, engaged three and a half. Yeah. When a ring fits so perfectly, even if you just go at one or two sizes, it's too tight. And it fits in here. You know? <laughs> it's always fit in my heart. I literally check on it like once a week. I look at it and I'm like, I miss you. So I'm really excited. Don't know why I left it so long. Kind of thought maybe. Well, you've got to make sure you kind of your weight is plateaued. Yeah. Because otherwise you get it resized and then you lose the weight and I know you it's get it resized just... again. But then again, I feel like you can't. Sometimes you just can't live no, I thinking know. you're going to gain or lose or whatever. But eight months is a good time now. I'll just get it resized. Yay! It breaks my heart when she holds on to her pram and just takes it all in. She loves it. Yeah, she does. She has no interest in lying down in her pram. <laughs> I know. We did try and put her down for a nap, but that lasted ten minutes. She did half an hour. She was, I think. Did she? Yeah. Uh, she was a bit too intrigued by everything going on, yeah. which is fair enough. She's a girl after my own heart. She loves to shop and experience. You know. <laughs> Um, rings so you, have been sent off to be resized. Yeah. All good. It's actually went up quite a few sizes. I think two full sizes. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's half sizes. Yeah. But, like, I ended up having to be like, no, go up again, and again, and again. Started off with half a size, and then she skipped a couple, and we started yeah. to get there. She was just like, oh, honey, those knuckles, though. <laughs> those knuckles be popping, babe. But then it's frustrating because then you get a bit flustered, and obviously, when you kind of get did. a bit tense, it's then harder to get it off. Yeah. So, even me, I was like, See, mine's quite loose, and I did it a couple of times, but the third time I was like, see, it's swollen is loose. Yeah, because your knuckles get all swollen, you yeah. get stressed. Um, but yeah, and now we're just looking for a couple of Christmas prezzies. Yes. Popping into the white company. So, we've just gotten home. Well, we've just gotten home a little while ago, just had some lunch. We've been Jay chilling. It's right, James guys. Or. It's what? It's James Eo. I've got this thing of going the Super Mario. It's me, Mario. When I take off my mask to Amber, I go, it's me, Mamio. She finds it funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, so we changed around the kitchen layout. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen it. This is just crazy. I know. This is what we've been up to, guys. Wild ones we are. So this is the original layout that we had for the kitchen, um, which kind of works quite nicely because you get the table running off the kitchen, which I feel like kind of looks like part of the kitchen. And then you have the sofa bit here, which is quite nice. Um, but we changed it around when Amber was like more newborny. We moved this area here and we did really like it. And it gave oh, us like a bit it. more space for Amber to play on and stuff. Yeah. Um, but we changed it the other day and we're loving it again. I feel like even just putting the lamp here, so this lamp was a bit wasted, the one in the corner there, in the lounge. Um, totally wasted. <laughs> it was wasted in the lounge, but here it just looks so cosy and I put some fairy lights up and I feel like I've created a really nice cosy corner here. <laughs> James's commentary just running there in the background. Um, and there's just nice places for her toys and stuff. And obviously she's gonna start crawling soon. So as much as we love this, spongy mat which is great for her as soon as she starts crawling she'll just be off off the mat and exploring the whole house so then we've got this kind of area here as well now I've seen you bought the bench when the table was over there. Yes. So we previously had the set up. We had chairs on both sides. Yeah. I definitely think the bench looks so good. Oh, it definitely does. And it gives us loads of space around there. And so then we've yeah. also got two armchairs here. Mm -hmm. So the whole kind of space just works really, really nicely for like socializing as well. Because you've got table. Social. Like. Social. Because we are so social. Yeah. And I also bought this guy the other day from Home Sense, which James absolutely loves. Can't stop talking about it. He just can't. 
<laughs> Stop falling in love with all my... Obsessed. Oh wait, I'll show you something he loves even more. Oh wait, what? Yeah, guys, have you seen anything more pointless than that? Like, what is, like, what are you doing with that? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's stained as well. It's got, like, yellow stains on it. You can, like, top one carrot on it, maybe? I know, yeah. so this is a chopping board, and the is most... Is it? Is it? It's I'm meant, not sure. It's meant to be. The most annoying thing is, you know when, like, the sticker literally, like, starts dissolving into the wood? Yeah, you're gonna have to soak that out. I know, I'm gonna have to soak it, but, yeah, he keeps, uh... Every time he passes it, he basically says, seven pounds for this! What is this? I mean, I do agree, but it was more of a decor thing. So like, I love my chopping boards over there, which I use for kind of like displaying, displaying in the kitchen, but then also like my little grazing boards or whatever we do. And then we have actual chopping boards, which we chop on. And then this one, I just thought it was cute. as like, I might even hang it on the wall. Like, look, it actually hangs on here quite nicely. <laughs> you look disgusted at me <laughs> guys i have visions okay i promise you honestly though that is weird with the yellow staining that needs to be removed somehow i think the chopping board needs to be removed boo it's i think you need to be removed sense. you will be removed so we're actually outside working on our yes room. that's what i was gonna say as well it is look it's getting there it's getting there but we're gonna wait and we're gonna show you tomorrow because yeah. we want it to be as there as possible, you know? Exactly, so they've just started like doing the cladding on the outside so it's kind of coming together. Mm -hmm. I think the last thing we showed you of the garden room was literally the wooden structure. But since they've done, like the doors have been put in, the inside has been painted, everything's been done and they're just like cladding it now. So it's so exciting, it's really coming together. And I just chose some wall lights for it. Dunelm, I love Dunelm, they've got so much range, they've just got such a good range and I just feel like these are really cute, like almost like a matte, well it is a matte black, I think that's nice on yeah, either side of the nice door, feeling yeah you're feeling it. A matte black, that's kind of come from nowhere, it's just going to be a random black features. Yeah. Okay, so oh yeah, the doors are grey. Chrome. It's like the standard with the garden rooms, he puts on these, they're really nice, they're just like small and they shine down. Um, but I wanted to go for something a bit different. I feel like that's a bit me, but it's a bit us. So yeah, we'll see. But we're gonna order one, hold it up. If it's a disaster, we won't go for it. But anyway, I think by today, by the end of today, they're gonna have finished all the cladding and just, can't wait to show you. Yes, I was saying, I got this little thing from HomeSense. I wasn't a massive fan of like the white, into, like, what's it called, decoration design inside um but i knew that i put loads of things on it so that wouldn't be like a major part of it what i really wanted was like a tray with handles because i love having on the table something like a centerpiece thing especially with like candles and little bits and like nibbles and stuff um but then obviously when we have even just me and james have our evening meal will like I'll be getting it all off and like moving the candles and like putting them up here like that um, and now it's going to be so much easier to just have a tray move it all in one go so I wanted a tray for ages so I'm really really happy with that little tray feels very cozy as well um and also I forgot to update you guys on the this room the playroom so <laughs> I mean, this still looks major messy, but if you've been watching our recent videos, you'll know this is so tidy compared to what it has been like. It was like up to here with cardboard boxes from all the Christmas decorations and everything. It's all gone back in the attic. All of this mess, mess in the middle is um, the gym equipment. So that's all good. And then we just got like little bits and bobs um, still left kind of organized. And I just want to organize all of this. Basically, once all this has moved out, um, I can kind of organise that a bit more. Um, but we've got her Christmas Eve box in here. Oh my gosh, wait, let me just change the memory card. I'm running out of memory and I need to talk to you guys about the Christmas Eve box. So I ordered this Christmas Eve box, which came um, with, I haven't actually painted those ones, but all the uh, kind of characters came like that. And then I just painted them, um, which was quite fun and very easy. Obviously, it's just like only like three colours. Um, but I feel like it made a really big difference and looks really cute. Uh, so the stuff I've put in here so far is literally just little bits and bobs. We've got one of the That's Not My books. We've got all the rest, like That's Not My Elf, That's Not My Reindeer that we've been reading to her um, in December. But That's Not My Santa will be like a really nice, like kind of treat for Christmas Eve because she knows the theme of the book. Like, that's not my blah, 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 blah. So she'll be like, oh my gosh, a new one. Got a little um, pyjamas for Christmas Eve. Got some new toys, some new bath toys. 
um, and I want to fill it with some other like kind of treasure baskety bits and bobs so that'll be cute and then also Jojo Mama and Bebe sent us some very festive things for Amber Santa's little helper they honestly do these are our favorite sleep suits that Amber has the Jojo Mama and Bebe ones they zip up all the way the quality is unreal I just Jojo love Mama them Bebe. Jojo Mama and Bebe I love the name and they got these little dungarees it must be French, yeah. yeah. I think we say this every time, don't we? I was just saying how we did clean this room, but it Jojo. does still look. How can you say it not in that way? Jojo, my mum. Ma my man. My man? Yeah. Jojo, my man, baby. Bebe. 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 Just always no. Jojo, my man, bebe. <laughs> ma man. Oh, I like mama. <laughs> ma man. Ma man. Jojo, yeah. mama, and bebe. <laughs> <laughs> look who's awake. <laughs> Say hi! Oh my gosh, guys, I have to show you this. I can't remember. I don't think I did because I think this arrived after. Hello! <laughs> Do you want to show you my Christmas book? It's so cute. Go on. Hello. Show them how you play it. <gasps> Good girl. Oh, it's so annoying, right? Because let me just take it off her <laughs> and show you. So if you play it, she will Merry Christmas. And then when you tap it, it stops. But obviously for her, she's like doesn't realise that, so she'll click it. And then... We wish you a Merry Christmas. Good girl, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Do you want to show the next one? She's so good at finding them, but then you have to stop it before. Next one, go on. Good girl. <gasps> Come on. It's, it's not sensitive enough sometimes. Go on, you can do it again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Oh, let's stop that one. Go on. Jingle bells. Girl. I try and take it off for them when it starts. Bet on. Go on. <laughs> it's confusing, isn't it? Because it stops. Bells, jingle. No, that stops again. This one's a weird one. I literally hadn't heard this song before, this. Do you want to play this one? Oh, go on, click it again and I'll... Do, do, it's a red, red coat and a red, red hat. What's this song? We don't know this one, do we? It's like she looks up for approval every time she clicks it. Good girl. <laughs> She'll just sit here for so long, flicking through it and just clicking all the buttons. Do this one. Good, get, oh wait, I have to stop this one. <gasps> Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how do you? I don't even know the words. <laughs> She's not impressed. So, James has gone out on a dog walk. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We are gonna make some gingerbread men. So, we made gingerbread men a little while ago, me and Amber, which was fun. Do you remember how to make them? Um, so we're going to make some more now. I'm just going to make myself a cuppa. Cup of tea. Because as we've said before, me and James literally drink like 18 cups of tea a day. I don't even know if that's an exaggeration. That is a slight exaggeration. Potentially more like 10. 10 plus. Honestly, it's bad. Okay, maybe teas and coffees combined would be like 10 a day. Gosh, I'm such like, I'm oh like... Not even exaggerating, 18, when that's complete exaggeration. Um, I do love a dramatic story, and James is literally a complete upset. I'm trying to tell like a really dramatic story, and I'm like, we drink 18 cups of tea a day, and he's like, we drink three. And I'm like, oh. he just exposes me every time. But yes, I want to make some really soft gingerbread. So the last ones we made were like gingerbread. But you know you can get like crunchy hard gingerbread and then like really nice soft gingerbread. Well, I googled soft gingerbread recipe this time. So, sorry, I bashed your head. Sorry. Um, I'm hoping they're gonna turn out like, hey. what? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Did you see that? She grabs hold of my nose. I'm not sure if it's because she's teething. What? <laughs> and gives it a little, that's not a teether. That's not a teether. <laughs> yes, I'm hoping the gingerbread's gonna be really nice and soft this time because I wanna be that cringy person that makes like gingerbread for the neighborhood. 
the neighborhood gingerbread lady. I just feel like we've got quite, well, we've got two like elderly neighbors and then I don't know, I just feel like our neighbors and everyone's really nice around here. And last year I did something, I can't remember what I did, but I remember dropping things off and people were like really sort of lovely, like they really kind of hey. liked it. Hi! So I thought it would help me practice my baking skills whilst also being a cute little thing to drop around to people, like Christmassy gingerbread cookie type things. So I'm gonna do my practice run now. So then I'll, sorry, then I'll be all set to go. And then, oh my gosh, I'm watching them do in the uh, garden room. Mm -hmm. It looks amazing, it looks amazing. Yes, yeah, so then I'll be all set to know how to cook it for the neighbors. But also I'm really wanting to, over the, like the Christmas week period, I wanna to put together like loads of plans that we're gonna do daily, like Christmas movie day or like something else. And one day I wanna make a gingerbread house out of gingerbread. Like I always buy the kits where it comes like pre gingerbread and it's always like very, very crunchy gingerbread and you glue it together with icing and all of that and you make a house ah. and you decorate it. Yeah, yeah, you do, you do, you do. But I would love to make my own, it's on my wish list. So that's it, it's a gingerbread day. I'm testing a new recipe. Let's see how it goes. I've got my cute utensils. We got our ingredients. We got chopping board. I found a perfect place for it. Hiding the stained speakers. Lovely, lovely little backdrop there. We got Santa facing our way. We got a baby munching on some snacks. Have we got a baby in the house munching on snacks? We do. Okay, and we are ready to go. Whoa. It is going well, guys. I feel like already this looks so much better than my last attempt. And we've run out of snacks. What are we gonna do? They're all on the floor. What are we gonna do now with you? You wanna help me? I think you're gonna have to help me join in to keep you entertained. But yeah, for anyone wondering, I'm following the BBC Good Food Soft Gingerbread. Okay, so we finished the gingerbread. It's gone into the fridge to set i forgot how long it needs to set for as in like not forgotten how long but i always forget that it needs setting for so long so it recommends eight hours for flavor but it does say you can do less it's just all about the flavor so i'm thinking i'm gonna what's wrong with you you're tired from gingerbread making um leave it for a little bit because we are going out to get a paint sample for something which i'll explain in a bit and i got my cutters ready i got my rolling pin ready we're ready, once it's set, we can uh, do the gingerbread, the best bit, which is rolling it out, cutting the shapes, baking them and decorating. She's exhausted. I'm gonna pop this one down for a nap in a bit, but um, do you want your treasure basket? There we go. Here we go. What's in your treasure basket? <gasps> Thank you. She still loves a treasure basket. It's such a lovely idea. Mm. Couldn't recommend it enough. I know, you want to chat to us. Hello? Hello? <laughs> um, so James has just popped out to pick up the lights for the garden room from Dunelm. So we'll be able to see those in a second when he gets back. And um, gosh, I've got really uncomfy bra on today. It's not that it's uncomfy, it's just that it's not an actual bra. And I've forgotten how massive and heavy my boobs are. I mean, they were massive and heavy before I started before I started pregnancy, before I was pregnant and then before I started breastfeeding. But obviously pregnancy makes them huge, breastfeeding makes them huge. They are so heavy and they give me really kind of bad back and bad shoulders. Um, Cause I find that a lot of the, <laughs> she does this little um, grunting thing when she's like inspecting, it's like a concentration thing. When she's expecting, inspecting things up really closely, she does this like grunt and it's cute, but also creepy. <laughs> Um, was I doing it back? Did you notice? So, what was I saying? Oh! absolutely dead face like am I making you laugh <laughs> peekaboo she's still going <laughs> <Peek -a -boo! laughs> 
So, um, what was I saying? Oh, my boobs are just massive and really heavy and they're giving me back pain. So I don't know why I didn't wear a proper bra today because that just makes it so much worse. But, <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I do get very distracted with Amber and I know it must be really frustrating um, listening to the footage. <laughs> But um, I just, I can't ignore her. Like, it is something that I wish I could do a bit better. Like, I wish I could just kind of, not wish I could ignore her, but, like, I feel like I could be literally deep in conversation with you guys. And then she makes, like, one little snuffle. And I'm like, <laughs> and I know that must be really frustrating to watch sometimes. Um, so thank you for sticking with me if you do. And I'm sorry if it's too hard to watch. I get it. I do understand that. What was I saying? Um... Oh, we're going to get a door paint sample. Actually, let me, let's go. Let's go. Let's adventure to the door. What an adventure we're on. Um, the door, like the front door, which we were talking about the other day. Um, I'll show it to you now, just so you can get an idea. Right, you sit down there. I know you love being on hard floors at the moment because you can kick off them. So this is the front door. Hi! <laughs> that we currently have, um, which we do love, but like we said, it was broken. So anyway, we were talking the other day about, I'm coming back in, I'm coming in, don't worry. We were talking the other day about getting a new front door. Um, come on. Ready, one, two, three, hoja. We were talking the other day about getting a new front door. Um, but basically we had the quotes come back. I know we mentioned it in the other vlog and we were showing you and blah, blah, blah. The quote came back and it was just too expensive for what we wanted to spend on a whole new front door and it's because of our side panels and like the kind of size of the door altogether. Um, they did say right from the beginning it's gonna be quite an expensive door to change. So we thought we'll live, it's obviously livable with and it's absolutely fine. It was just if it was gonna be within our budget that we wanted to spend that we were thinking of doing it. But we thought we'd spruce it up with um, a new paint job. So we've got someone coming tomorrow who seems really lovely and he's doing like a spray paint job on it. So we're gonna go uh, down to the paint shop in like 10 minutes when James get back, gets back from Den Elm and pick up the tester of the color that we wanna go for just to be 100% sure. And then the guy's gonna pick up the paint tomorrow on his way. I'm so excited. I've seen like some of the stuff he's done in it. I feel like once you get it done properly as well, it really transforms it. Cause I mean, I did paint that one myself, but um, it is peeling and chipping and it's never been the perfect finish, so. I'm really excited to kind of get it painted professionally by someone and it was a lot cheaper so it was a uh, 190 pounds to get it painted um by this guy and that was with the paint included so i thought that was really good so yeah we're very excited we're gonna have a new door okay let's go have a let's go have a kutch we just had the delivery of the gym floor and uh came in on a pallet 21 one square meter kind of um slabs of gym flooring, um, left at the bottom of the drive because obviously it's on a pallet, couldn't get around the side of the house. And yeah, so three of us were just carrying those through. And honestly, I haven't kind of, hi Mila, I haven't um, done exercise that in ages. I am absolutely bloody exhausted. And guess who stayed in the warm toasty house the whole time? Oh, oh this woman, this oh, girl. Hi. This woman, this woman's cozy and warm. You don't know how lucky you are. I know it's warm in here. To be fair, right? I'm gonna go now shower because then I have an optician's appointment. Goodbye. So I thought maybe you could drop me to the opticians and then go to the paint shop. Yeah, that's a good to idea. To get the sample of your paint. Okay. Does that sound okay? Oh, you pulled my. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Gorgeous lady. Morning, guys. It is now the next day. Good morning. Good morning, look at that cute little outfit you've got on, Missy. Look at that, it's so cute. Half grin this morning for you guys, a little smirk. <laughs> um, so, good morning. James has just popped in the shower. You can probably hear the pump. We have this shower pump that makes a really loud noise and every time someone goes in the shower, it goes um, So yes, James has just popped in the shower. The only reason I'm starting the video so promptly this morning is because the guy is coming at 10 o'clock um the guy's coming at 10 o'clock to paint the door so i thought that i would just show you the door run you through we got the tester pot yesterday painted that oh what were we up to yesterday we had a really nice kind of afternoon evening we did some weaning amber found her scream again she was just screaming all afternoon evening it was glorious <laughs> 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 um, 
um, she'll go through phases of finding her scream and just want to communicate via screaming, which, you know, we love. <laughs> um, and then we watched a Christmas film. We watched Klaus. If you've not watched Klaus, you really need to watch it. It's such a good Christmas film. Um, and she just wasn't feeling sleeping, which is very rare. Um, she's usually, you usually got a good routine, Missy. Um, but we had, it was our fault, really. We'd not woken her up from her afternoon nap in time, really. We were like, oh, she's so tired today. She'll be fine. She didn't want to go down to bed at seven, which is her usual time. So she stayed up and watched a Christmas film with us, which you loved. You've been very well behaved. She was just playing with her toys. Like, I'm not here, guys. Just let me watch the movie with you. Um, so that was really nice. Uh, and yes, the guys came in this morning. So I've just had a delivery, though, that I wanted to show you of... These are the Christmas PJs that I ordered, guys. Right, you sit here, baby girl. You're gonna sit there nicely. I know you're feeling a bit needy today. Look at this lovely little dress you've got on. I've been waiting to put you in this. You don't look too impressed with it. You don't look too impressed. She's feeling a bit needy today. She's kind of wanting me to be really close by to her. I know, sweetie, look, I'm here. Have your one. This looks a bit big for you, doesn't it? I think that's going to be a bit big. They only had one to two years. I don't think that's going to fit you, is it? No. What a fail already. Uh, but I love the pattern. I wanted it to be something that James liked as well. Um, I know that he loves kind of like darker colours and he loves a navy. So I thought, get this. And I absolutely loved the fact that they had it for like everyone as well. They had it for kids. Mums and dads, but loads of them were sold out already. Um, the sizes. So luckily I managed to get mine and James's sizes. But... Um, the kids one, yeah, like I said, I had to get one to two years for the kids, so. I don't think this is going to fit you, is it? Is that, is that going to fit you? So, James is just putting Amber down for a nap. She's very, very tired, because obviously she was up with us in the evening last night. So now, like, on days like today, when she's, like, been up a bit more. The day before, she kind of gets tired little and often and needs to, like, have a little bit of a catch-up. So, James is just putting her down for an earlier morning nap this morning. Um, so, I'm on about the door. So, this is... Let me just show you the door. This is the door as it is. I painted this UPVC. So, that white colour at the bottom, it's just it was just plain white UPVC when we got here. Um, and yeah, I painted it and then also did the gold paint on the handles and stuff, which clearly is chipping off and like loads of it's chipping um, from the actual paint as well. Uh, so this is the colour that we're going for. Now, it's actually quite similar, but it's a different vibe. I don't know why that like bit of the top's gone darker. That was just clearly my amazing painting skills. But it's a little bit more of like a khaki beige than deep grey. I just feel like it kind of really goes nicely with the red brick vibes compared to like such a deep grey. Hello there. Good morning. It looks nice, I think. It's gonna look really good. Yeah. yeah it's it looks, like in natural light, it definitely is a different colour. And it looks a bit more khaki, yeah. which I like. Yeah, it's got that tinge of A bit more olive that, green. Yeah. So I need to take down my wreath, I decided. And obviously, I'm assuming I need to take off this. Yes. My snow spray. Are we gonna take the screws out and fill them and just paint, or should we put that back on? I think we should put that back on. Okay. Be easier if we can get it back on. But I was thinking, do I have to move my garlands? Maybe I'm gonna have not, to ask but him. You'll see when he gets here. Their well, effort to take like off. I know. So I'm not going to take them off unless they really need to come off. Honestly, guys, I am loving this wrap top I'm wearing today, right? If you have big boobs like me and you just feel like nothing is flattering on them, wrap tops, wrap jumpers, everything are the one. And you can like cover as much as you want. You can just like fiddle with them. This one's from Gilly Hicks, which I do love. Um, I was meant to be working with them on a December collab, but it didn't happen in the end because the package took too long to come. Um, but I've worked with Gilly Hicks loads and I love their stuff. But I have loads of little wrap tops from different places. Um, and I just feel like they're really nice for like big boobs because lately, last year, I was like a turtleneck lever. Like I couldn't stop wearing turtlenecks. This year, it may be the big melons getting in the way. When I put on a turtleneck, it's literally like I feel like I cannot move. Um, so yeah, I'm loving a wrap at the moment. Hi there. I picked this top today to match. I mean, actually, that's quite a nice little clash. Complete clash. Oh dear, what have I done? The barbie room is coming on so well. We're just about to go out. I'm going to get some tea and coffee. I'm so excited. Honestly. I'm going to show you tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning it's going to be. We we push it so that it can be as close to completed as possible before showing it. Yeah. So tomorrow morning, you're going to have to wait. Just hold on. It's so good. We're going to have the door. We're going to have the garden room. It's going to be like update, update, update. Because this is 
our last vlog, isn't it, Bill? Have of 20. That, no, I haven't. I know, it's our last 2021 Our last 2021 vlog. I know, we're taking a whole two weeks off for Christmas. We're so lazy. It's emotional. We've oh, never taken the only time, like the longest I think time we took was for our honeymoon, which was a week, which was, a week, which was two years ago. I can't remember. Well, how much time did we take off with Amber? Less than a week. <laughs> <laughs> She's less important than the honeymoon. <laughs> we were raring to go. Um, but yeah, we're tightening up like a lot of loose ends today. Just yeah. Like our managers and stuff and just bits and bobs. But yeah. It always feels really stressful though. I feel like on I the last know, day. I know. I'm in like a flustered, very flustered mood because I'm like, I haven't done this or I haven't done that. And then I'm trying to do all these like ad mini bits, but also like look after Amber. And then also I haven't messaged yeah. the guy back about where I live to do the door. And it's just like, <laughs> things are just stressing me out today. I mean, I so we're quite bad sometimes. Uh, and I think all self-employed people probably feel it. It's hard to kind of switch off. Yeah. And we're quite bad at glorifying kind of our time off. Yeah. And then it gets to it and like we get an email and we're like, I need to respond to the email. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So we're rubbish at actually taking full yeah. time to like breathe and not think about stuff. So anyway, we're tying up all the loose ends today. We will be back, obviously, in January no, 2022. Not the vlog. No, I'm not. Don't I'm not. Go, guys. Don't oh, go. Oh, no. Don't to go. We got all the updates, but... We're back on the 5th of January, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'll do a little chat at the end of the vlog when I say bye-bye yeah, about we'll how much... Before, yeah. So, we're just sitting in the kitchen, watching reels, drinking coffee, waiting for the door guy. That's not me. Um, I don't do that. I don't do that. Emailing. Emailing people. <laughs> he was watching reels. So James just said something really stupid that made me giggle. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, I wanted to. I literally just came on to vlog because I remembered I was just looking through um, my photos, trying to find something. And I, I remembered we took... I remember we took a video of Mila last night doing her where's this. Oh god, that's so cute. I've got to pop it up. We've been doing this with Mila for a little while, but we hadn't done it in a while. And she went and found a toy that we used to play it with and like gave it to James and it broke her heart. So we're going to do it with her every night now. So she gets a little bit of a mum and dad game with Mila time in the evenings. But anyway, you know this thing where we hide a toy and then we say, where is it? I won't say it too loud because she whatever. And she searches for it and searches for it and finds it and then gets so excited and then we like, cover her eyes or take her out of the room and hide it again. It's so much fun. Anyway, I'll pop it up. Come on, out. Yeah. Wait. Come on, wait. Come on. Wait. 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 Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'll go walk now. I'm gonna stop having fun. Mila, where you at, girl? There she is. Up the path. I don't know if you can see her booty. Um, yeah. I'm on a dog walk. But I've been struggling to be honest with exercise since um, I backed up COVID last month. Um, haven't done loads. Only done like a couple of runs and gone to the gym twice, three times. Um, but even out on dog walks, I've been struggling. Like walks that I used to be able to like power through. And kind of you know get my heart rate up have a good bit of exercise but feel good and positive about it. i'm struggling i just feel out of breath like much much earlier obviously i've kind of lost fitness from not really doing any exercise for a month and it can be really demotivating um but i'm trying to like stay calm i'm trying to you know not think of kind of getting fit again as an end result but trying to enjoy like each dog walk and trying to enjoy you know going to the gym and hopefully soon our garden gym, going on runs, etc. But it is hard. It is demotivating when you're much less fit than you were two, three months ago because of illness or injury or just because you've had a busy couple of months and haven't exercised or have chosen not to exercise or whatever. Kind of getting back onto it then, it doesn't feel successful. When you do like a hard dog walk, at the end you feel really unfit and kind of down about it rather than you know, positive that you've done that bit of exercise. 
Also guys, I really want to know what everyone's top song or top three songs is on their Spotify wrapped for 2021. Um, or if you use any other streaming service, other streaming services are available. Trying to be BBC. Um, but I don't know if they kind of do this top songs at the end of the year, but if they do on whatever the streaming service you use. Um, my top song of 2021 was actually Big Yellow Taxi by, I can wear only yellow hoodie. Um, who is it by? Look at that, top played song of 2021. I don't even know who it's by. Let's have a quick look. By Counting Crows. So Big Yellow Taxi by Counting Crows. That's my top song of 2021. I really like it when it comes out. And I don't know how my top songs of 2022 won't be identical. Cause I feel like when my kind of 2021 rap comes out, I spent the first kind of two or three months of 20 of the next year just listening to those same songs because ultimately it's like my favorite place. Out on a dog walk and me and Amber are gonna make the rest of the gingerbread men. Amber is. Hello, hello, are you munching again? <laughs> yes, you are. So this is my, to be fair, I said I wasn't gonna put it in the fridge for eight hours, but it ended up being overnight because I didn't have time to do it yesterday. But I've got a nice chunk of time now whilst James is out on a dog walk. Um, so yeah, I've just flowered the whole surface. Surface? Surface. I'm hoping this is going to be enough. Got my new rolling pin. I got Amber making her grunting noises while snacking. We're going to get it done. All the Whitakers are back in the household. Back from a dog walk. Back from a dog walk. Me and Ams are still munching, watching Elmo, making cookie cookies. Making gingerbread. Gingerbread cookies. We call them... Gingerbread men. Oh no, what to be fair on BBC Good Food, which is British. Call them gingerbread cookies. Really? Yeah. Well, Whereas I, I wouldn't call this, I would only call a cookie something that's like a chocolate chip. It's not a gingerbread man, is it? No, gingerbread. It's gingerbread biscuits. Yeah, gingerbread biscuits. Isn't it? Yeah, I thought a cookie had to be specifically like. I don't know really. Do you know what I still don't get? What? What an American biscuit is. I just what don't, do you mean? I don't get it. Oh, they, they call biscuits. They something a biscuit. Like a cracker? No, I no. It's like a it's like a bread thing, I think. Oh, sorry. If you search, I'll take my fairy lights on. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And they're like, oh, I'll have a biscuit with gravy, and I'm like, I'm yeah. Sorry. You're what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> American biscuits are small, fluffy, quick breads. That looks like what we it's would like call a scone. scone, isn't it? Or scone. A scone. Is it a scone or a scone? A scone, darling. That looks yeah. exactly like that. Maybe it's more savoury than a scone. Let us know, guys. I feel like you'll know. <laughs> morning, guys. It is now the next day. Good Hi. morning. Hi. Good morning. Look at your reindeer outfit. Oh, wow. Oh, um, I like the big cheese reindeer. <laughs> Although all the reindeers are very important. Yes. Not the big cheese one. The what? The big cheese. What does that mean? Like, like the, the main. The main one, the big guy. Main yeah. gal. Yeah, main gal. <sighs> Not a side chick. Okay. Yeah. We're going out into the garden. We're gonna show the garden room. Are you ready? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> right, so ignore this front bit here. <laughs> this is getting done in the future. Are you ready? I'm panning up. Oh my days. Look at this. I gotta show from the side because there's like a little side window. Look at the cladding. It looks unreal. The word. So we went for like, you can go for like different types of cladding or whatever you want. We really wanted to have like a vertical cladding. Yes, yeah, like very kind of lighter color wood. Yeah, and they like, it's really common at the moment to go for something called cedar, which is a bit darker. Um, but we wanted something quite like rusticy and light. So we went for, what was it, larch? Um, suburban suburban <gasps> larch or something. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the details, I just can't. It's I like... Know. It looks so nice, doesn't it? It I mean, does. So we still need to get this all oiled up. Yes. And have our kind of like down lights. <gasps> not down the, lights, The lights are inside. Yeah. So you're going one on each side, and then we've got spotlights going up here, which look amazing, so we can light up the outside. Yeah! So they'll like shine down, and then the wall lights, and it'll look really nice, because I feel like in the garden, we've got literally nothing that like lights up so when you look out the windows it's so pitch black in the evenings. They're gonna come a little remote so we can turn them on inside the house. It's so handy. So do do you like it Amber? Should we go inside? It's massive. Hi! <laughs> okay so like we said we did go for the higher roof because obviously we are hoping to do this as a gym hence okay. the massive okay. gym mats. I've got all the kit I'm hoping we are 
<laughs> We're hoping to I'm do hoping this as a gym. I'm hoping about it. Yeah. Let's see what it feels like with the door shut. Oh. I know, it's nice to hear, isn't it? The workmen are all hiding. They're like, oh, <laughs> the camera's out. <laughs> Hide. We did ask if we could do this. We haven't just intruded on their work. Um, so yeah, we've got spotlights. Obviously, all been painted. The flooring is going down as this. These are so heavy. They're just basically weightlifting flooring. They're, they're 25 kgs each. We really just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to do my first deadlift or something or drop <laughs> while squatting. And drop. it just it just goes and through the floor. Goes to the floor so. <laughs> I love this little window as well because I think of putting the bike here. So I think the bike will then look out into this view, which will be so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed. The wall colour is the same colour as the kitchen, so it's like a it slight off-white towards grey. It's called strong white. We've got super safe on the wall and the ceiling colour. Yeah. And yeah, it's really high. Do you over on press? Nice. That's the thing, I couldn't have gone any lower. No, I know. Um, crazy, isn't it? How does this compare to our ceiling heights in the house? How well, high is this? Same. How high is this? I don't know, that's the point I can't remember. Uh, 240 is our ceiling height in the house. I think it's 240 at the front. Yeah, so I think so as well. The is 240. Whereas originally it was going to be 210 yeah. or something, mm -hmm. um, which is absolutely fine if it's going to be like an office space or whatever, but obviously we're doing boom, boom, overhead press. We wanted to have that height, so that did mean that we had to go in for planning, but, but what we're thinking, worth we're thinking it. mirroring this entire wall. Yes. So, oh, fitted mirror. And then a squat rack and the dumbbells there. Yeah. The cable machine in that corner. Nice. And the bike down here. Yes. And then we should have a nice bit of floor space in the middle. Yeah. For like, you know, stretches, yoga. yoga. Because we we did put a slot, uh, a plug up there. Yeah. We're not going to put a TV there straight away. But I think if we do end up doing like, you know, watching YouTube videos to do yoga and movement yeah. and stuff, then maybe we will. You could, yeah. yeah. The thing is, it's so nice when you build like your own space. You can obviously put we put plug like everywhere that we need them. Yeah. So we're just not gonna run out of plug sockets. No. Which is nice. So yeah. yeah that is do a switch on our lights as well. Oh let me show you. Yes, go on. Oh. So that'll go there. Yeah. Well, wow, lights on, lights off. So where are these little Oh yeah, there's one in there. Oh, is it in there? It's kind of not scared, but you can see the folks on the box. Yeah. I'll um, hold it up because I think it looks so good. Okay, so these are going, going to go either side. So yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> Like Cow's gonna wear the arm band. <laughs> like I can't look too small. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, you does can see that. Nice? That looks really good. Does it that look does look really dogs? nice. And then we're gonna I have kind of black that... surround spotlights yeah. up there and another one on that side. I so couldn't decide what to go for for the wall light, but I'm really happy with what I chose. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. Amber's look, trying oh to my God. touch the camera. Oh my God. Sorry, Amber. Oh, Amber's steering the camera. And then there's obviously a small gap at the bottom at the moment because it's sitting on the concrete in the back right. And then obviously it has to be completely level off that. So our old shed concrete we reuse. Um, and we're not sure. We're probably just going to patio this area. Then when we do the patio in, we'll do like a nice full length step up to the doors yeah. so that you'll it will obviously then hide the kind of bottom of that so it'll all look really neat then so I'm gonna look at it from yeah, the side yeah we don't want to brush anything we want to get like this whole space now really nicely done around it yeah it looks great doesn't it really lovely we're gonna have a nice outdoor plug there I'll spot that right as well one last view insane okay second transformation the door da 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 da, da. <coughs> Da -da. How so nice. Love it. So yes, he basically, I mean, ignore my snow spray, it obviously got ruined and I just need to wipe it off and either do it again or just leave it. Um, I'll actually move these forward because you can't see it as well. But yeah, he just basically sprayed it, like we said, it was a similar colour, but we loved the colour. It's definitely lighter. Yeah, no it, it is. It's much lighter. And also, I think that's the thing, I think on the whole, on like pictures and videos and stuff, what was there before looked really nice and it was really nice but it's just the finish like yeah. when you looked at it it didn't quite make it so but it's such a nice finish this literally it? looks like that's what it came as sorry is that a lunge you're doing there <laughs> i know i'm literally <laughs> lunging forward right now guys hello you can see me in the letterbox these were also the other things that we changed so before we had white up oh, loving it you can see my thighs in there white upvc um they here actually white metal but they might, white metal yeah. oh my gosh um, and I sprayed them obviously and they completely chipped and I always wanted to change them to like a silver I don't know why but I think it was just Pinterest persuaded me that like this sort of French grey colour 
always just yeah. looked really smart with silver features and what I'm gonna get is like a little oh. silver stick on doorknob because they always do oh. that on Pinterest. Whiskey that is though. Signal isn't it? James. It's okay. <laughs> we'll do that while he's not watching. But yeah. Yeah, these are just from BQ, the um, handle. Yeah. And the uh, letterbox. They're both the Yale, I think. And the best part of all was let me come in, it's cold. <laughs> the best part of all was the fact that we originally wanted to change the door the main reason which we told you guys last time was the fact that you had to slam our door so it was kind of it was broken basically um but then we found out the price which was i think i said in this vlog but it was four thousand five hundred pounds to get the whole door replaced and it just wasn't within our budget of what we'd set that we wanted to spend if we were going to um so we wrote that off and we were like we'll deal with the slam and it'll be fine anyway when the guy came yesterday and did it and we changed the handle um so the metal one, we were like, oh, we're not sure how this is going to work with the system, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it really fixed it. Well, it didn't, it depends it what just, you want, I guess, in yeah. life. But the door doesn't now automatically lock behind us. So, but then we lock it. It doesn't slamming. It's more like just a normal now functioning door. And I didn't yeah. know, because we were going to keep the latch system and keep the white handle on the inside, and, but they didn't line up. And so we had then had to get rid of it. And I was like, I'm not sure how this is going to work. We're just going to still just constantly have to slam it. And it... It just, I don't know how it happened, but it just works. Magic. It just so, doesn't stop. It, 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 now, you don't have to slam it. You, it's just yeah. so, like, literally. I will show you. You can just close it. Like, you could never do this before. Well, we could inside. Okay, yeah. You, from the outside, you could it's never. Confusing. It was confusing. Anyway, it's fixed. Yes. It looks great. It does look great. And also, <sighs> yeah, like, obviously, that was a reason for getting a new door, even though we could have just changed the locking system on the old door. But like, I didn't know they would get such a good finish doing the spray painting. Mwah. I thought any time you'd paint a UPVC door, it wouldn't look that great. And it looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. We're really happy with it. Are we? Right, we will Are love we? you and leave you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Um, like I started saying at the beginning I'm of this... I'm going to finish that too. Yes, go. I'll, I'll follow. I shall follow. Um, like I started saying, <laughs> we... Um, have had an amazing, amazing 2021 with you guys. Oh, I know. It's been, it's been every year the best year yet, but it's been the best year yet. With you! You! Um, yes, thank you so much for following our journey, for watching us, however much of the journey that you followed during 2021. Um, we've been doing this channel for quite a few years now, and we've shared so many points and amazing special memories that we've had in our life, and it's so special. We're often looking back on videos that pop up, like Amber's first day at home, or our engagement video, or telling James I'm pregnant, and it's just amazing sharing these memories, and um, we just can't thank you guys enough for being here with us. This is our last video of 2021, but we're gonna be back, obviously, in 2022. For a full year, who knows what 2022 is going to bring for us, for you guys, for everyone. It's a fresh start, it's a new year, <sighs> and I can't wait to see what it brings I and know. what we I get know. up to over on our channel. We hope that you guys have a great Christmas, a great new year, however you choose or however you can celebrate it. Yes. But if you don't yes. celebrate Christmas, we hope that you just have a great kind of festive Relax. period. <laughs> Relaxing winter period. Yes, and all look forward to the new year. Definitely. Fresh start, and we'll see you guys so soon. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Can you do that yet? Oh, she's going to be a changed woman when you see her in two weeks' time. She's going to be like, hello. Hi, she's guys. Talking, welcome. walking, <laughs> jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. We guys. love see you. Soon. Have a good Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas and a happy <laughs> new year. Mwah. It feels weird vlogging with no sea. This is the longest we've gone in a long, 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 long time without vlogging. You know when like you don't talk to your friends for like a week? This is what That's I feel it. like with you guys. Um, so yeah, we had a really nice Christmas. We had a really chilled one, obviously. Yeah. Rules came into place like five days before Christmas, oh, which I changed. Completely changed last minute. Just yeah. like I'm sure the majority of the nations did. But we took our last Christmas together. Yes, we have that. a nice special we're not, one. We're not picking up guys, it's okay. Oh no. That's not what's happening here. Last Christmas together, James is now off. So it's a few days later now, and we are so excited to show you the painted nursery. And Kyle is bump again. We are. It's done, guys. Are you ready? Whoa! Look at this colour. I wanted to take today's video to have a full appreciation video of Karis. Oh, what? 
appreciation video of my wife Karis. It's really nice. It's a nice kind of memory and hopefully like one that I do appreciate it of you and Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, you came one. Oh, so We've got this, guys. Let's go. Let's go see photos. Um, all we've got to try, guys, are these treats. Um, and we're literally just going to rub them on my tummy. Don't really see how that's going to work. <laughs> but. I feel like I'm pestering her, you know? Oh. I'm just like, every time she stops moving, I'm like, hey, where are you? Move again. Okay, and Karis is going to say the name in five, <laughs> oh, right, yeah. four, three, two, one. Amber. There we go, she says. We'll pop it up. We are off for another baby scan this morning. Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. Potentially one of the last. Like, they're getting fair and few now. Christmas time. 